and hopefully I have the place to myself today because I want to try getting this one pixel I'd love to try to get me sitting in the window with the waterfall behind me but every time I go because it's a super popular place it's on the weekend and every time I go people are always there and it's always packed full of people what's up it's time to go for a hike down to the boiler cabin because I haven't been there in quite a few weeks maybe a month or so and like two weeks ago three weeks ago we had a shitload of rain and uh, hopefully the waterfall behind it's flowing a little bit more and plus it's really nice and I'm off this week so I want to go do something and figure I make a vi figure I make a video View of the cabin from across the creek. This is the basement. Basement of the cabin. Pretty cool. Big fireplace. You can still see where the outlet used to be. The bedroom here. You still see the outlets and the switches used to be. Back when there used to be electric in here. Little bedroom here. There used to be a light there, out there, closet, another little bedroom right here. Check out the upstairs. The upstairs loft, bedroom area. Don't need to be. Oh, no, thank you, everyone. Let's see this one. 
with a little pantry. Kitchen. All these pictures are from where uh, I'm having that bus in this cabinet at one point. There ends my little short little hike to the board in the cabin. I was here for a lot longer than I thought. I ended up being here for like two and a half hours. But it's relaxing as hell. And if you made it this far in a video, right about now, I'll have a photo of the cabin I took with the uh, the new Polar Pro filter. The new Polar Pro everyday filter. I know why I know now why everybody loves it. And I could certainly see myself leaving that filter off my on my camera. I love shooting cars. Works great for portraits. It blooms them highlights real nice. And it protects my lens and it's a really good filter.